Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to model surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to copy a surface linearly using the translational repeat command. Now, this command is used to make a copy of a selected portion of the model along an axis direction. So the first step in this process is to select the surface you want to copy. I'm going to unselect everything in my model by clicking anywhere within the view window. Then I'm going to select the surface I want to copy. Now in the ribbon toolbar, I'm then going to select the model tab and I'm going to find my translational repeat icon. Here I'm going to enter how I would like to use this translational repeat command. I'm going to use the WCS coordinate system. This is the world coordinate system that is automatically created for you at the origin of your STAD Pro physical model. How am I going to copy this? I'm going to go in the Y direction and I want to create two copies. Okay. I want to create basically a surface at each floor of my structure. My floors are 12 feet apart, uniformly spaced. So I'm going to enter the spacing at 12 feet. Now for the generation field, I can choose to copy just the surfaces or um, the geometry and properties if those were specified. Our surfaces don't have any properties or anything else assigned to them, so it doesn't really matter what I select there. Next, I'm going to choose whether or not I want to link steps. What linking steps will do is it'll add basically a member um, connecting a node in one surface to the node in the corresponding surface. That doesn't quite make sense for this particular exercise, so I'm going to leave that unselected. Now, one of the nice things about the STAD Pro Physical Modeler is several dialogues have this preview button. What this will do is it'll allow you to see the dashed area for where that surface is going to end up once it's created. This will give you an, another chance to go ahead and make sure that you entered your spacing and your direction as intended. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click OK, and we can see our additional surfaces have been created. Now what you're going to notice is that the top two floors of this structure are geometrically identical to the first floor. And for this reason, we were able to use that copy selected elements command to complete our structure quickly. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.